Hey everybody, welcome back. Tight hips, dull ache in the side of your hip, maybe even some knee pain. It could be the IT band and today we're gonna work on it. You're gonna need two black balls and you're gonna need a pearl ball. So we're gonna get started, we're gonna warm up a little bit and we're gonna come into pigeon pose. It's gonna be a little bit of a modified version um, if you're used to being in a yoga class, but it's gonna Gonna really, we're really gonna focus on the side of the leg, the um, the actual IT band where it connects up in the hip and then down in the knee, wraps the knee, and try to alleviate any of those um, aches and pains that are happening due to a tight IT band. Now you don't have to have any of these aches and pains showing up right now to benefit from this work. It's really important if you don't have an acute situation of pain or dull ache. Um, it's really important to even get in, get ahead of it and keep your IT band nice and healthy um, because the IT connects the front of the leg to the back of the leg and it's really important. It has a lot of function in helping you move your leg around. So let's get started. Um, you're gonna start off um, in, let's start off with a, just a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna start off in hands and knees and go ahead and just come right up into downward facing dog and drop your heels down to the floor. You don't ever have to bring them down to the floor. You can keep your knees bent and just Relax your head and take a couple of breaths in, starting to establish your connection with your breath, trying to breathe in through your nose, and then just relax on your exhale. You can begin to firm your belly a little bit. Don't try to hold your belly in, but just be aware of it as you take a breath in through your nose and then exhale out as you as you exhale just relax into it and see if you can feel like more a power um, a power more powerful breath as you gently firm the lower belly just take another breath in that way and then exhale good let's take the right leg up bend the right knee and just roll the hip open Relax your head. And then take that leg down and do the other side. You're gonna just bring it up behind, bend your knee, and then just rotate your hip open, look to the left. And then come back down again. Okay, we're just warming the hip up a little bit. Come down to hands and knees, just do a little hip mandala. Left arm slides out, and then take that right leg up and bring your knee into your chest. And just do a couple of hip circles here just so we don't go in cold. Twice more around. This might be more difficult than you think, right? Um, because of restrictions. And then just take that leg and wrap it behind the, the other and sit back so you have these bound legs here. A leg, it's a little eagle legs wisdom pose. Just sliding back. Again, don't just only go as far back as your knees are happy with it. This is an amazing compression stretch for the ankles, the knees, and the hip joint. Take a breath in and a breath out. And again, if you can't do this, then you can just modify like that. And any amount will be beneficial in this bind. Take another breath in, lighten up a little bit. And then as you exhale, sink the hips back as far as your body says yes to. Breathe in and breathe out. So if you feel any, if you feel tightness and kind of like, um, like almost like restriction, that's a little different. That's a lot different than having an acute situation of pain. So just kind of get used to, to being able to tell the difference. Um, if it's just tight, then you'll wanna, you'll wanna stretch. And then come forward hands and knees, and let's do the other side. Left leg goes up behind you, that hip model on the left side, knee comes to chest, go around in a full circle. Right, so sometimes if we just haven't moved in, in a way that, if we just haven't moved in this way before, it can be, our body can be cranky, but it's really important to get ourselves into full mobility. So sometimes we just gotta do it. Um, as long as we're not having any sharp pain. And then knee, let's take our knee forward one more time and then take it around back, cross behind, 
and have a seat back too, here. And you can always come out of it and go back in it. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, take one more breath in and breath out. Awesome, come on out. And then back to hands and knees. Take one more downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward, have a seat. I just wanna do reverse plank because I feel like it's gonna be important. We're gonna be in forward fold a lot here. So fingers face you, plant, feet, plant your feet flat and then just inhale the hips up. Inhale the hips up. If your head can drop back right away, do it. Otherwise, chin to chest, lift your hips up, straighten your arms, and then sit your hips back down again and bring, come into Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, just just fold forward, pressing the leg bones down. Take a breath out. On your next breath in, go right back to that reverse plank. Inhale, let your head go back. Breath in, and then breath out. Have a seat, Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, leg bones wide as you bow forward. Pull yourself forward, exhale all your air out. Chin, uh, belly pulls in. And then inhale, last time, into reverse plank, head goes back, hips high, breathe in, and exhale, have a seat, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet, press the leg bones down, and pull yourself forward, exhaling all your air out, nice, then rise to seated. Okay, you guys ready? All right, so we're already set up for our first pigeon. I want to show you all the setup here, we're going to be working with... First, we're going to work with Pearl and introduce our body to the shape, all right? So we're going to find the trochanter bone. So that's that, that knuckle bone feeling thing that's at the top of our leg. Just find that. It kind of protrudes out. If you want to feel it even more, maybe doing this helps to find the bone. And that's the top of the leg bone. Go ahead and place the Pearl ball right on that bone and just hop up onto the ball. Hop up onto the ball right there. And then this leg, we're on, I'm on my right leg. Left leg is gonna just bend off to the side. And then you're gonna to try to get that right leg 90 degree bend in the knee and come into just a forward fold. So it's just a warm up. We're gonna to start doing our little circles first. So find that bone and we're gonna do our little circles that we always do at the beginning of a routine to kind of get the, the, uh, the point of origin, where the muscle starts, where the muscle attaches to that origination point, that bone, that bony landmark, where that attaches, go there, and then pause right there on the top of that bone. Go ahead and bow forward any amount and just get into a nice stretch. Right foot is flexed, and you're coming into a forward fold here, and then that left leg's just off to the side, and you're just relaxing that leg. So we're not trying to do anything special with that leg. Move it around as much as you need to and just begin to angle into that right leg. Take a breath in and a breath out. And you might even find yourself coming off that bone a little bit, scooch back up to the, up to the bone, and then you can scooch off it, like scooch your hips back away from the ball and the ball's gonna come down into the IT band a little bit down the side of the leg. We're gonna take another breath in here and then exhale and just melt right into that ball. So we're really as heavy as we can be over on that right side, trying to get really get connected with the leg bone into the ball, okay? Take one more breath in, belly's firm, inhale, expand, and then exhale and melt. So the point of firming the belly is just to create something to press, the, press your breath into, if that makes sense, right? So the firming just a little bit, just enough to feel and then as you inhale, you expand belly, ribs, chest. And exhale and melt. Good, and then just come down off the ball. And I want you to just shake, just shake your legs out, relax down into your 
resting pose for a second. I just want you to feel that side of the body. Cross your right leg over. Just place your right foot on your left leg and let your right hip relax. You can bring your knee in towards center and then let it go out a little bit more. And just breathe right here. Okay, and then just release that leg. Knees come together, feet wide, and soften. Imagine your leg bone receding into your hip socket. Let it drop in, breathe. Good, all right, now we're gonna move into using black balls. So come on up to seated, pull yourself up, and now we're gonna use the black balls in a little different experience. So we're gonna put the black ball right at the leg bone, the top of the leg bone at the trochanter. You can actually do that little clamshell move to, to feel where that bone is sitting right on top of that ball. And then when you're connected, just hop right up onto the ball. Now it's hard to see because I have black pants on, but maybe you can see the little ball peeking out. Take the other ball and place it at the ankle bone. So now we have this prop going on. Flex your right foot and really now drop in heavy into that right side. So here we are, yes? Breathe in and breathe out. Let's use the, the ball at this, at the hip, at the side of the leg bone. Now we're off the hip, we're actually inside the leg bone. We're gonna use that ball as focus for breath. So from, your, from here, Firming your belly just a little, take a breath in through your nose and aim your breath into that ball of the leg. Inhale. Exhale, melt. Okay, now what's happening here is just the booty heavy kind of pulling back. As you bend forward, you're creating traction in the leg. Take another breath in. Exhale, melt and feel. Good. And just we're, we're think about the visual here is we're kind of lengthening, lengthening the femur out of the hips, away from the hips, not really out of the hips, but just away from the hips, getting length and stretch. Because think about it, if we're standing all day and walking and pounding, we're kind of jamming our femur bones up into our hip. So now we're doing the opposite. All right, so from here, scooch back just a little bit and bring your, bring your leg back towards you, reset you at 90 degree bend in the knee, and you're gonna use your arms to just press down and give yourself a little bit of pressure into that leg, side of the leg, inhale, exhale. Take your ball now, your, your booty's sitting on the floor, you're just gonna take the ball and Roll it up the side of the leg. Remember, you're, you're working on the outside of your leg, kind of like if you're wearing tuxedo pants, you're going down that, that little satin strip on the outside of the leg, staying there. Then stack the arms again here. You can push down, get a little bit more. You can bend and flex that foot that's on the ankles, um, the foot that's there. You can bend and flex that. And I even like to take an opportunity here to work my feet. Inter, I just take my fingers and inter, interlace them through the, each toe, and then I use I can pull the toe joint straight out, massage through my foot, through the ankle, through the sole of the foot. Take a breath in, exhale out. Just melt right into that ball there. Two and one. Just relax and be heavy duty. And then we're gonna lift up again. You're gonna take the ball now up to the outside of your knee. Stack the arms and press down. Again, point flex that foot, point and flex. You can continue to massage through the ankle, the uh, around the Achilles tendon, stretch. Let's take a breath here. Belly's gonna be a little bit firm. Take a breath in, inhale and fill. Aim your breath to ball. Exhale, melt. And come on up. And then shake it out. Now I want you to check out your legs. Check out your legs and see, feel the difference as you sit. 
Maybe your leg looks different. Maybe it's even a little bit longer as you sit. You can scooch down, recline back, even bring your legs up straight up and see how they feel. Just being here. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And do a little happy baby here. Open the legs. Peace sign fingers, take those big toes, rock side to side. Good, and now we're gonna rock and roll yourself up to seated. Take some water if you need it, and then you're gonna switch legs. So we're gonna to go to the left side now with the black balls. Roll away from the ball, locate your left trochanter bone, your big top of the leg bone, place the ball right under it and pop up on there and then take the other ball and put it at the ankle. You want a 90 degree bend in your, in your knee. And again, remember that other leg's just gonna fold off to the side. So it's like a little bit of a uh, lunge, runner's stretch here, bowing forward, coming into your forward fold angling over to the left side a little bit and getting as much pressure into the ball should feel really good you can do those little circles around your your hip Ooh, i just remember we didn't do our curl ball here so let's top off the ball here and pop back on our curl ball first to set the leg up so same setup just get the curl right on your true canner And learning to traction here, you come forward and you can do your little circles right there to get to get that bone, that, that starting point all warmed up. And then be right there at that bit, that knotty bone, that knuckle bone right there, and at the top of the leg bone, lean into it and feel coming back to center. Now scooch your hips back a little bit as you're heavy. And see if you can feel the pull, the tug of the leg away from just the elongation of the muscles that are attached as you slide your hips back, but you're angling into the left side. Take a breath in and a breath out and melt. Just feel that nice, nice sensation there. And if it's not so nice, then you're gonna just breathe and observe because everybody's different, right? My experience is gonna be different than your experience based on my body. Um, so we're just looking to observe and not have anything be super painful. We're just looking for that opportunity to stretch the body. And you'll get used to this as you work more into it. And then you're gonna come off the pearl. So just come off the pearl, sit down for a second. Extend the legs out a moment and just feel. You can rock side to side. And now we're gonna add the black balls. So pop up onto the, pop up onto your hip there and bring the other black ball to your ankle and come right into your stretch here. Bowing forward. And what we're kind of, you know, what the visual here is and the experience or the thought is just to think about the stretching and the lengthening of the, the leg muscles, right? The hamstrings, anything that is, is attaching up in the hips, the hamstrings, the quads, here the, the the, the IT band holding the quad and the hamstring together and all of this, the adductors, everything in the groin, and it's all connected in here. We're stretching, we're using traction. Take a breath in, exhale, melt down. And as you melt and as you just slide your hips back just a little bit, 
and just continue to slide the hips back until your booty hits the floor. And then you can manually move this ball down the outside of the leg. Just move it up the side of the leg. And then you can stack your arms and press in. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. And then continue, move the ball another inch or two and just get it right there at the side of the leg, press down into the leg, always stacking our arms right on top of the ball wherever the ball is. So we're weight bearing right there over the top of the ball. Take a breath in and a breath out. All right, you're continuing to breathe even though I'm not cueing every single breath. Again, here you can massage your ankle, pull your toes straight out, interlace your fingers through the toes and create some space. Just get your foot you know, opening up, beginning to bring awareness to the feet in relation to the leg. Final spot, just move the ball down right on the outside of that knee and press down, sliding your hips back. Take a breath in and a breath out. Then you're going to come on back up to seated and just take the balls out, shake your legs out. You can finish off with a little supported inversion. Lift your hips up into bridge and slide the balls right there at the, just tuck, put the balls together like so and place them right there at your mid low back, right? So you're right on the sacral joint. That should feel super good just to kind of support you. Um, we were in a little bit of a crazy leg position with pigeons, so this kind of pulls the, the stability of the hips all back together. So stay here as long as you would like, just take some breaths, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.